All right, so today's learning target is I can add and subtract within 20. So can everybody go ahead and say that with me? I can add and subtract within 20. All right, so yesterday you guys worked on a worksheet. You guys should have worked on the doubles plus one worksheet, which is right here. This is the worksheet you should have worked on yesterday and sent to Mrs. Booth's. And we worked on, we added doubles plus one to our addition strategies poster. And remember that doubles plus one, if we know two plus two equals four, then we know two plus three equals five, because all we did was add one, and that added one to our sum, or the answer to the addition problem. So today's worksheet you guys are going to be working on is this one right here, and it's going to be doubles plus two. So if we know doubles plus one is just adding one, what do you think doubles plus two is? Yeah, we're just adding two. So you guys are gonna have some story problems on this worksheet, and we're gonna be doing some doubles plus two facts. So first I want to show you doubles plus two really quick. So here's doubles plus two. So if we know three plus three equals, we know three, one, two, three plus three. So it's three plus three equal. Yeah, it equals six. And that's something that we just know. So what happens if we add two? So we did doubles plus two. So how many are there now? Okay, well we know the bottom of the fr tens frame is five six, seven, eight. So we know that three plus five equals eight. Now do you see how we just added two to our sum or the answer to the addition problem? And we just added two right here. Okay, so if we know three plus three equals six, then we know three plus five equals eight. So that is all that doubles plus two is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a story problem with you guys so that we can work on it in a story problem together. All right, so here is our story problem and we're gonna be using doubles plus two. So our story problem says, Jacob picked six strawberries. Addison picked eight strawberries. Write a doubles plus two fact to show how many strawberries they have in all. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what double can we use. So what we are going to do is pick the smallest number. So let's go ahead and look through the problem again. And as we read, we're gonna circle the numbers that we need to solve our problem. Jacob picked six strawberries. Addison picked eight strawberries. Write a doubles plus two fact to show how many strawberries they have in all. So we know it's an addition or a plus problem because they wanna know how many strawberries they have in all. So what we are going to do is pick that smallest number in our story problem, which is six. So I'm gonna write six down here. Okay, so what is a doubles fact with six? Yeah, so our doubles fact would be six plus six, okay? S sorry that my six looks a little weird, six. Now we know six plus six. Now how many more does it take to get to eight? So let's figure it out, six, seven, eight. Oh, so that would be a doubles plus Two. So let's figure out how much six plus six equals. Yep, it equals 12. Now how many more do we need to figure out six plus eight? Because this is the problem we need to figure out, six plus eight. Because those are the two numbers we're adding together. So if we know six plus six equals 12, how many more does it take to get to eight for our six to get to eight? Well, we figured it out. It was two. 
So we know 6 plus 6 equals 12. So we're just going to add 2 more. And what does 2 more equal? 12, 13, 14. So then we know that 6 plus 8 equals 14. So did you see how all we did was add 2 to that sum? We added 2 to the answer to our addition problem. So we took that smallest number, we made a doubles fact out of it, and we added 2 more for that 8. Alright, so our worksheet we're going to be working on is right here. Give me one second. So this is our worksheet we're going to be working on. I'm going to go ahead and read through the problems for you just in case you don't have an adult around to do so. And you can use this video to help. So our first question says, Meg picked seven berries. John picked nine berries. Write a doubles plus two fact to show how many berries they have in all. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick that number, that smallest number, find the doubles fact, and add two. All right, number two says, Evan picked five apples. Rita picked seven apples. Write a doubles plus two fact to show how many apples they have in all. So again, you're going to do a doubles plus two fact. And the last question says, Kate picked three oranges. Gary picked five oranges. Write a doubles plus two fact to show how many oranges they have in all. So you guys can write your doubles facts over here and add two. And then you're going to need to write the number sentence here for the story problem. But remember, we're going to do that doubles plus two just like we did up here. We saw that the doubles and we found the answer to the doubles. And then we added two to get 14. All right. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Enjoy math today. Bye.